Hello students, good day. And we are now in our second review in Mathematics Assessment Guide, Grade 2, Academic Year 2021. Okay, so all we have to do now is to continue what we have started last time. So I want you to listen to me carefully. Okay, here. Last time we started from number one and we stopped on number 20. And now we will continue from number 21 to at the last part of this review. Okay, as you can see here, expand the following numbers. So look at the example, example, 992 is equal to 900 plus 90 plus two. So that's how you are going to expand the numbers. Okay, number 21, how about number 46? How can you expand this? So it is very easy. You have to write 40 plus six, and that's what we call expanded or expanding numbers, okay? In number 22, 260, 260, how are you going to expand that numbers? It's very easy. At first, you have to write the 200 plus 60 and zero, okay? And number 23, 419, you have to write the 400 first and then the 10 and nine, okay? So 400 plus 10 plus nine is equivalent to 419. How about number 24, 888? How can you expand this number? Okay, at first you have to write 800 plus 80 plus eight. So very easy, right? Okay, let's proceed to number 25, 957. First, you have to write the 900 plus 50 and plus seven. Okay, and the next part here, write the symbol less than, greater than, and equal in the box. Okay, here, look at here, the number 26, 80 minus 5, box 80 plus 5. So what sign are you going to write here? Okay, so the sign will be here is less than. So 80 minus 5, less than 80 plus five, okay? Number 27, 715 box 156. What sign will be here? Okay, since 715 is bigger than 156, so the sign that you're going to write here is greater than, or 715 greater than 156. Okay, number 28, 99 box 90 plus nine. So what sign are you going to write here? Okay, so since they have same in value, so you have to write the sign equal, okay? Now let's proceed here, write the following numbers in words. So this time you are going to write the numbers in words, okay? Look at this. 860, okay? So at first you have to write the 860. And number 30, 405. First you have to write 405, okay? Next, let's proceed here, our word problems. Solve the given word problem by showing your solution. Okay, listen carefully. Number one, the price of a shirt is 569 baht and the trouser costs 230 baht. How much do they cost altogether? Okay, from the word altogether, what are you going to do? Yes, of course, you have to add. Okay, so the number sentence here is 569 plus 230. At first, you have to write the price of a shirt is 569, but 
plus the trouser cost 230 baht. Okay, let's add 9 plus 0 is equal to 9. 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. 5 plus 2, 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. So how much do they cost altogether? They cost 799 altogether. So our answer here is 799. Number two, Kamun Chanok has 780 pieces of cookies. She only sells 436. How many cookies are left? Again, Kamun Chanok has 780 pieces of cookies. She only sells 436. How many cookies are left? From the word left, what are you going to do? Yes, of course, you have to subtract. So the number sentence here is 780 minus 436. At first, you have to write, Kamun Chanok has 780 pieces of cookies minus she only sells 436 pieces of cookies. And now let's subtract. Zero minus six cannot be, so we need to borrow in the tens place. Cancel eight becomes seven, and zero in the tens place becomes 10. So 10 minus six is equal to four, and seven minus three is equal to four, and seven minus four is equal to three. So how many cookies are left? There are 344 pieces of cookies left. So our answer here is, 344. Number three, Sumkit has 504 fish and sells 192. How many fish are left? Again, Sumkit has 504 fish and sells 192. How many fish are left? What are you going to do? What is the number sentence here? Okay, so number sentence, is 504 minus 192. 504 minus 192. First, some kit has 504 fish minus, he sells 192 fish. And let's subtract four minus two is two. Zero minus nine cannot be, so we need to borrow in the hundreds place. Cancel five becomes four. And zero in the tens place becomes 10. And 10 minus nine is one. And four minus one is three. Okay, so how many fish are left? Fish that are left or those are left? 312. So our answer here is 312. Number four. Your father buys gasoline for his car for 320 baht. He gives the station attendant 400 baht. How much change will your father get? Again, your father buys gasoline for his car for 320 baht. He gives the station attendant 400 baht. How much change will your father get? Okay, so what do you think? So you have two. Subtract, so the number sentence here is 400 minus 320. First, he gives 400 baht minus by gasoline for 320. So we can now subtract zero minus zero. Zero minus zero is equal to zero. Zero minus two cannot be, we need to borrow in its place. Cancel four becomes three. And zero becomes 10, 10 minus two is equal to eight, and three minus three is zero. So how much change will your father get? Change 80 baht. So our answer here is 80 baht. Okay, so that's all for today. And please do study all the coverage in our math subject. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.